Let us begin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Intention. As you pray for your personal intentions, please pray for all the people who are making this Navina around the world. O Most Holy Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, we praise your holy name for the wonders of grace you have worked in your servant, St. Clair. Through her powerful intercession, grant us the favors we ask for in this Novena. Above all, for the grace to live and die in your most holy love, as she did. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, may the peace of the Lord be with you all. Throughout the month of August, Franciscans all over the world commemorate two significant occasions, the Feast of Pershunkula and the Feast of our Reverend Mother, Claire of Assisi. Today marks the beginning of the novena dedicated to our beloved Mother Claire. And I extend a warm welcome to you all to join in this spiritual journey. The theme for today's novena is Embracing the Poverty of the Spirit. When we reflect on the poverty of our Mother Claire of Assisi, we find a beautiful expression in our writings, particularly in our root. She was the epitome of poverty before God, drawing inspiration from the life of Jesus of Nazareth, who had no place to lay his head, following the guidance of our seraphic father Francis of Assisi, she embraced both material and spiritual poverty throughout her life. Clay's poverty was radical and went beyond mere material possessions. She sought emptiness even in the depths of her heart, a self-giving of poverty, where she lived for others. In our modern world, we can learn much from this attitude of kenosis, embracing selflessness in our religious vocation and as lay persons. I recall the testament of our mother Clay, where her profound poverty is revealed in her abandonment to the Father of Mercies, recognizing him as the giver of all good things. She lived with utter freedom, liberated from worldly preoccupations, like the sparrows of the sky, cared for by the Most High Father, who knows even the number of our hairs and understands our needs. Just as Francis wandered outside the walls of San Damiano, begging for the love of Christ, clothed in a simple tunic and a coat, Claire defended herself until her last breath against anything that could separate her from the precious gift of poverty, which made her a sister, a mother, and spouse of Christ. In the sixth chapter of the rule, Claire poured out her heart, sharing autobiographical memories and Franciscan teachings. She repeatedly emphasized to her sisters that their dwelling place would only be acceptable to God if it was enriched with poverty. Claire and her companions lived a life dedicated to poverty, and now it is our turn to contemplate embracing the spirit of poverty in our own lives. Let us, during this novena of nine days, strive to follow the footsteps of our dear Mother Claire, embracing the poverty of the Spirit 
with humility and love seeking freedom from material at attachments and dedicating ourselves to selfless service for others through her intercession and the grace of god may we grow in holiness and become true instruments of peace and love in this world may god bless each one of you abundantly